Welcome back everybody, my name is Golden Boy, and yes, we're gonna try something a little bit different. It's the Golden Nugget. All right, so the first bit of information to talk about is all the new Destiny news that had came out thanks to the embargo that was lifted yesterday. Just so much information that's out there, but the information that interests me the most was the multiplayer. So as many of you guys may know, Destiny will have multiplayer, of course, but it's gonna be different. Instead of it being 4v4, 5v5, 6v6, it's going to be 3v3. Yes, you're gonna have one fire team against another fire team. Ideally, they're envisioning that you're gonna have, you know, all three classes on each team. I don't know how that's gonna match up. The one thing that does bother me about this, though, is that I have a lot of friends, and I'm not trying to boast here, guys. I know you guys have a lot of friends, too. I'm sure that I wanna play with more than just two people. So it kind of makes for that really awkward conversation when a friend of mine hops into the game, we have four, and it's like, uh, dude, we can't play with you because it's too much. It's going to be a little weird. Needless to say, though, I'm pretty excited about that. And the one thing that interests me the most, and this honestly just blew my mind away, was a quote from Sage Morale. That quote was, a balanced game is one where not everyone is doing the exact same thing. Now, that quote was awesome because it shows me that Bungie has a very unique design philosophy going into destiny i agree with that i don't think balance comes from every single person using the same thing you know you see that happen quite a bit where people or most importantly like halo fans they, they would say yeah but everything should be designed around the br everything should be designed around the pistol and i do agree that yes that works for halo but it doesn't work for every single game and i appreciate that kind of vision of saying well we want this game to be balanced but we don't want everyone to do the same thing because then that just makes the game boring so I agree with that 110%. I kind of feel like that's a little bit of the problem that Titanfall is having right now, but we'll get into that in another day, another video, you know what I mean? For more information on Destiny, you can click on the link below that will take you to Beyond Entertainment's Information Hub, where you can check out all the quotes from the articles and all that good stuff, so this way you don't have to go searching all across the internet for everything. I made sure that I linked it to one convenient place for you good-looking people. Next up, Major League Gaming has announced that they will be at the X Games in Austin, Texas this year. Some pretty exciting stuff, and now I saw a lot of people really, really getting excited about this, and, and even saying quotes like oh this is it after this we can make it to the olympics don't get me wrong i would love to see esports at the olympics but i don't think this is the move that takes esports to the olympics now of course there are going to be people who look at that as hating but my whole thing is call of duty is a realistic shooter and it's something that you know i don't think parents will really want to get behind as a esport as a sport period i don't think we're going to see something like call of duty at the olympics i think it's going to be something more like starcraft or league of legends league of legends seems Seems like the more uh, I guess you could say valid option just because you know it's it's a fantasy based game so there's not you know real life violence going on in that game Starcraft even you could say falls into that real life you know uh, well I, I guess how real would aliens and you know I guess monsters and all that be but you guys get the picture I mean with the Terran and you know the way that they are with their machine guns and basically what I'm trying to get out of here because I'm definitely rambling on the other side is that I, I don't think that we're gonna see something like Call of Duty at the Olympics but but, you know, it serves well at the X Games. I think the X Games is the audience that they're looking out for. All the best to them. Let's see what happens with this. I'm not going to go and get my hopes up. I want to see what the end result will be from this, how it will be treated. One thing that I am a little bit disappointed about is that there will be no prize pool because every winner at the X Games does receive the gold medal and some money. So I'm kind of bummed out that some of these guys will not be seeing a payday out of this. But, you know, it is what it is. I think that it's going to be interesting to watch and all the best Major League Gaming in the their venture with the X Games. I know that I'm going to be watching from home, eagerly anticipating who takes home the gold medal. Now, a news that has me pretty much all psyched up, Super Smash Brothers Wii U is going to have a tournament at E3. Yes, I'm so pumped about this. They actually did it in a really clever Mega 64 announcement, and it was a video that had like Reggie fils mech He was a, you know, one of the Mega 64 guys was inside of the mech, Iron Man style, which was really cool, and he was infiltrating Nintendo headquarters, and I have to say, it was really hilarious, really lighthearted, and fun. But beyond that, though, they did announce a Super Smash Brothers tournament at E3. I could not be more thrilled about this. And I'm going to be at E3, so I'm going to make sure that I find my ass in that theater watching Super Smash Brothers because it's going to be awesome. Of course, there's been a lot of new information for Super Smash Brothers Wii U, so this is kind of the icing on the cake. And I think it's going to be really exciting for fans of Nintendo to get excited again because you're going to see some awesome Super Smash Brothers play. I, I, I just love Smash. You guys have no idea. It's like a guilty pleasure. I absolutely 
absolutely suck at the game, but I love watching it. And it's going to be awesome if I haven't used that word enough already just to hammer that point across. Okay, so a new thing that we're going to be trying out here is highlighting new releases for the week that you guys should check out. So without further ado, what is our first What's new? So what's new this week is Child of Light. This is a game from Ubisoft, and it's basically about a little girl trapped in a fantasy world, but it's a side-scrolling RPG, JRPG style. So check this game out. Of course, if you haven't had a chance to do so, check out the videos. I'll be sure to put a link in the description below so you guys can go ahead and check out the trailer for this game. See if it's your cup of tea. I will be broadcasting this game on my Twitch channel tomorrow, so make sure you tune in for that as well. Child of Light, a great game that I think a lot lot of people should try out it's receiving praise across the board and some people are you know pointing out some of the flaws like the game may feel a little bit too hollow they don't like the fact that you know the the dialogue is all spoken in poems but i think that that is the kind of unique things as far as the dialogue is concerned that really just sets this game apart from anything else that would be coming out this week and for the you know thought that the game may be too hollow well you just got to play it for yourself to find out all right guys so that's going to do it for me now the question i'm going to propose to you guys today is do you think that sprint needs to be in every first person shooter now sound off in the comment section down below if you haven't liked this video you can hit the like button it's a thumb looks just like this drag that mouse over get the clickety clack going on take it to the subscribe button and do the same thing there my name is golden boy hopefully you enjoyed the new format of the golden nugget i will talk to you guys later take care and as always keep on slaying beautiful peace